What's up, everyone? This is Nate, and I'm back with another Out of the Theater review. Now, today, I went to check out the latest, the fourth installment of the Bad Boys franchise, Bad Boys Ride or Die. I'm going to go ahead and give you my thoughts on this movie, but before I do, if you could please consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already, and hit that bell icon. That way you get notified every time new videos drop. Also, give me a thumbs up down below, and let me know in the comments if you like this movie, if you didn't like it, if you're excited to see it, if you're not excited to see it. I want to know your thoughts on it as well. I will say... As far as the Bad Boys movies go, I'm not like the biggest fan. Um, I like them. Don't get me wrong. I like them. I like Bad Boys 1. Bad Boys 2 is honestly that one. I feel like a lot of people like a lot more than I do. I just think it's OK. It's too long. It's probably my least favorite of the Bad Boys movies. And the third one, Bad Boys for Life, I actually ended up having a really good time with. Uh, I thought that one was a blast. So I enjoyed it. This, of course, is the fourth movie. Same directors as the third one. So the vibe is pretty similar to that movie, to be honest with you. Like it looks like it. It feels like it. I did not like this one as much as I liked the last one, but I had a pretty good time with it. I had a pretty good time with it. I will say as far as on the positive side, th these guys really did some crazy stuff with these action scenes. Like the way they're shot, there's a lot of drones. You know, they use drones as far as for their cameras. There's a scene and it's been going around online with Will Smith with this like rig, this camera rig, which is pretty cool. It, it turns out being like first person in the movie. So it's like a first person shot and it's OK. Honestly, I feel like the way it was filmed is cooler than the effect for me. One shot of it, okay, but it goes for like a little bit. And then and, and then when it, when it has like, when a camera switches to their face, it looks weird to me. It reminded me of those old MTV shows where they used to like hook the harness up to the kids and put them in scary places and then they'd be running. And it, it kind of looked like that a little bit, but it was still a pretty uh, novel idea. Uh, but other than that, there's a lot of really cool action scenes in this. And I think... At this point in the franchise, one thing that you have to do is try and do some something different, right? Technique wise, filming wise. And I think they did. And I think most of it works. I really liked uh, the camera work here. Uh, it's crazy. It's very like energetic. It's constantly moving. At one point, though, my cousin did say she was getting sick because it was kind of like spinning. There was a shot where uh, it's just like kind of going up this thing and like spinning. I could see that. I, I it, We saw it in IMAX and I could definitely see it being a little jarring. But overall, I thought it was pretty fun. The action scenes are solid. My my main pro I have a couple of problems with this movie. I do think it was very entertaining. Uh, I And I liked what they did with some of the characters. I thought I thought it was pretty cool. Reggie. Shout out to Reggie. Uh, he's funny in this movie and he gets a pretty cool moment as well, which was a lot of fun. But. This is the first movie I've seen with Will Smith since the last Bad Boys. I did not watch King Richard. I did not watch Emancipation. This is the first thing I've seen him in since he slapped Chris Rock. And I tell you what, that real life incident for me affects how I look at him on screen because I just like this not you're not that tough. And it really kind of to me, it took some of the mystique away, even from the character where it's just like, come on, bro, this guy like slaps people and then I'm supposed to believe he's this guy. And it, so it took away a little bit like I could not. I wish I could, but I couldn't not think of it. And in general, I try to like, you know, you separate the artist from the art or whatever, the person from who they're playing. But I don't know. It just kept popping up in my mind. Like, OK, sure, whatever. Other than that, I think he did. The, the performance was OK. I don't like what they did with the. OK, so these guys are older now, right? This is the fourth movie. They're not young guys anymore. The age factors in. I like what they did with Marcus's character with Martin Lawrence. I like what they did there. I don't like as much what they did with with Mike's character, Will Smith. Uh, that I was just like, OK, whatever. Also, there's a few things. If you are familiar with us here or you've heard my reviews or seen us talk live, me and Alex or anything, I don't like convenient stuff and I don't like very predictable stuff. And this movie has both, especially predictable stuff where you could be like, I know this person is this and I know this is going to happen here and that's going to lead to this. And it happens multiple times. So I, I just don't think the script is that great. Um, the humor is OK. It's not as funny as the last one, in my opinion. I did laugh. I had some laughs, but not as much. So overall, it feels like a franchise that is reflective of the stars in that they're older now. And it feels like it's I don't want to see another one. I will say that much. I do not need a bad boys five. I don't want a bad boys five. 
let's leave it here. I think they had a good run. This movie's entertaining. Don't get me wrong. It's entertaining. It has, again, good action scenes, cool camera work, nice soundtrack, good looking movie. You know, it's Miami. I think all that's fine. But story wise, it just felt like it did not feel like a very important story. It didn't feel like a story they needed to tell in any way, shape or form. The plot is just so so kind of generic to be honest so overall i thought it was fine i had a decent time at the movies i ate some popcorn i laughed i saw some stuff explode uh, the action held the day for me i'm gonna give it a seven out of ten i think it's good i think it's a good movie i don't think it is a great movie and i don't think it's as good as the last one not for me at least so i will be back this weekend again with a second out of the theater review for the movie called the watcher so until then take it easy